Ifo Enada. I am a newly evicted Big Brother housemate. I'm Leo De Silva, recently evicted housemate from the Big Brother house, and I'm great. I'm glad to be back. I had zero strategy. Honestly speaking, I didn't even think I would be selected. And when I got into the house, I said to myself, you came here with no strategy. Why don't you just be yourself and see what happens? And so I was myself 100%. I didn't have any strategy. The main thing was I always saw, I always saw it as free advertising for myself. So just like I always told the, the other housemates, that I don't know how long I'm going to be in the house, but every week is another week to advertise yourself. So when I first got into the house, I said, you know, this is seven days of free advertising because I wasn't sure if I was going to leave after a week. Then when I stayed after a week, I said, this is 14 days, then 21 days, then 28 days. So that's how I took my time in the Big Brother house. I never unpacked my stuff. Everything was always in the box. I was the only person in the house that never unpacked. So I was always... Um, people who know me know I'm always on natural high, like my energy is always um, above the roof. If I get high, whenever I stop talking, you can tell, say that I'm quite tipsy, but that doesn't mean that I am high. No, I never get high. No, I had no love interest. I mean, I always say this. Um, people would say it's because she looks like a man. I, I work out, man. I, I'm torn. I didn't have any love interest in the house. I just had um, people that I connected with, basically. I feel people that actually watched the show saw that Alex and I had a conversation from the first day and people that actually continued watching the show saw Alex, I, Ifo and Ada have the same conversation as well. That, you know, I really like her, she's amazing, but I'm not one to rush into a relationship out of the fact that I cannot, you know, see any other person. I believe that you have to learn to be friends before learning to love. I take my relationships step by step. And I already had um, someone that I liked that was friends longer. And I explained that to Alex that, you see, when I get out, I like someone already. I'll try to pursue that. And she understood that fact. I probably I was one of the luckiest girls because I'd always walk into the dressing room when a guy was you know, pans down. It started with Bito. I think Bito was showing off. So I walked into the dressing room and Bito is putting some lotion on his legs and his thing is dangling. I'm like, oh my goodness, this is huge. And I, I talk about it. I mean, I think Vandora talked about it as well because at that time Bito was really selling his market. And some of the guys actually take their bath naked in the house. And you know, it's one, um, I mean, they take their shower naked and it's one space for everybody. Three showers in one space. We go in there and you cannot unlook or say, okay, I want to like your, your cream is here, or you know, your, your, your shower gel is here, and the, the, the nude guy is there. You have to take it now, and you see stuff, yeah, because it's not like he's putting some basket over his thingy. You know, yeah, and then you see certain things that really amaze you, and you talk about it. I mean, like, Toby is actually really blessed as well. I'm sure I mentioned that in the house. So it's not like we were in some intimate position where I saw these things, no. Uh, we won the Pepsi Rock the Mat Challenge, which I think made us even like bigger targets because people obviously were not happy, especially when they put, up, put in all that work. And then um, with Leo still being in the same group with um, myself and Toby and Lolu, we won the Heritage Bank um, Prize, which comes with seed capital and some other goodies. Um, I think that it, I wouldn't, I mean, I, I thank God for the favor, you know, making me win and all that. But I also think it comes with working with someone or being with someone who also has his eyes on the prize and who's also focused. And that's one thing I like about Leo, his business sense and the fact that, you know, sentiments aside, his eyes are on the prize rather, you know, because he has two eyes, he's not blind in one eye. I don't ever remember seeing I made CDQ in any way. As a matter of fact, um, I think it was Teddy in that space and some other guys and we we're having a conversation about how most girls or all girls, you know, depend on men for everything. And um, I was trying to make a point I mean, if you watch the scene pretty well, I did not mention his name up until the end, and that was because I was just being an asshole, you know. Um, and what I was saying basically was, I have done things for people right from when I was a teenager, and um, I mean, I could never depend on anybody, but these are some of the things I have done. And I think I just, I don't know, I should probably sh shouldn't have called his name, but it was nothing personal, it didn't come from a malicious place, but everything I said was the truth. And yes, I, I, I know that you probably want to ask me if I was a one night stand. See, CDQ doesn't know if my vagina is red or pink, and it's one of those colors, but he doesn't know, yeah? So, yeah.
I would not just talk about something for the sake of talking about it. There was probably a conversation around that, you know, um, talk, and that came up. And whatever I said uh, in the Big Brother house, I wasn't lying. I wasn't lying. I probably maybe should have put a lead on some of the things I said, you know, to avoid causing trouble but and all that. But whatever I said was simply the truth. Actually, nobody actually gave me a hard time in the house. I think most most people just um, saw me as like very serious minded and whatnot. So I was I wasn't the only time I showed my playful self was mostly on Saturday nights. And I invented I invented like three dance moves in the house. You know, most people know that the piano, the salt bay dance, the low key dance. So people didn't really give me any hard time in the house. Fred Alex doing. I think she, she she needs the money, you know, the most in the house. She needs it for her branding and she needs it to shape her future as well. My brother is, uh, is not biased in any way. He's very objective and um, he does what's best. So Big Brother will give the money to whoever has the highest votes. I would give it to whoever deserves it, but I just hope that Alex wins. First things first, I, I just put out a new project called um, Alexandra Apartments. I named it after Alex. Um, I'm gonna be, s I've already started selling them off plan. Um, so that is my, that is my um, next goal. Um, I'm gonna start building by next month. So after that, I said in the house that I want to build a leisure center in um, um, where I grew up in Surulere, in small London. And after that, you know, do keep doing all my empowerment things that I've always been doing for my people. I intend to focus more on my music because the honest truth is whatever brought me to this place was music. I've always been passionate about singing and doing all that. And um, so help me God, maybe someday break into Hollywood. Oh.